I want to start working on my AI behaviors library. And this is Rupert. He's my agent. And I got him from this R15 rig, this plugin here. And I added an animate folder so that he can walk around and move and do things. I'm going to start my library so that I can tell him what to do. And I'm going to put it in server script service in case I have many agents and I don't want to duplicate the script over and over. So I'm going to add this module script because module scripts you can call from other scripts. I'm just going to rename it. Rename it to AI Behaviors Lib. All right, and here's my module. It's actually a table. I'll just call this Behavior, Behaviors. And if we have a function we want to call, we have to put the table name in front of it. Make sure I spelled that right. And I'm going to start out with a nice easy one. Find nearest humanoid. I'm going to say root part. My root part. It's going to be whoever called the, the function. Their root part. And I'm going to have a distance of interest. All right, so I'm going to say local. Now I'm going to look for the nearest root part. Nearest root part equals nil. And for i equals v, I'm going to do a for loop of everything in the scene and just find the closest humanoid. Ooh, uh, what do I want? I want the workspace. I want to get the children in the scene. And v has my game object. i is just an index, so I'm going to concentrate on v here. I'll say other root part. And V can be anything. So what I have to do is find first child. It's a humanoid root part. And if it doesn't have it, it's going to return nil. All right, so we're going to check. We're going to say if other root, then let's find the distance, right? So distance to other is other root position minus my root part position and we'll just use this magnitude function and the magnitude is the distance of two vectors to these points all right so we have a distance so if um, Distance to other is less than distance of interest and distance to other is greater than zero because we don't want to find ourself. I'm going to say now the distance of interest equals the distance of other because we want to find things that are closer from here on out. So if we find something, say, all right, now let's just check if there's something closer. Uh, but just in case, let's assign what we found to the nearest root part. And then we're going to return, once we get through the entire scene, we're going to have the closest of the nearest root part. And then let's do the distance of interest, which is actually the distance to that root part. All right. So this is our little library. We're going to have lots and lots of stuff. But for now, this is good. And I'll put some notes in here before I upload it. But let's go to our player and now let's do a little routine that's going to call our behaviors. So we'll do this little update loop. And Rupert here. We're going to we're going to include our script, so I'm just going to call it AI lib. And it's going to be require game server script service behaviors lib so that gets access to that that library we just made and I say NPC and it's just going to be the scripts parent let's do while true do local nearest humanoid it's not really right it's the nearest humanoid root part we're going to say the distance AI lib find nearest humanoid NPC humanoid root part let's say 50 All right 
and then we'll print out the distance just to see if it's working. And let's check to see if the nearest root part is not nil. Because if there's nobody in the distance of interest, it's going to be nil. Let's so print humanoid. Now we'll find the humanoid. So I'm going to say nearest root part. Parent. No, that's not really the humanoid. That's the character, right? Let's say character. And then end. So it's basically just going to print something out if we find, if Rupert finds somebody. All right, there we go. And my little guy's going to jump in the world. Distance is too far away, so we're not finding anybody. We need closer and closer. Oh, there we go. And where are we at? We're at like 29. It's only updating every second, so and 50 no longer found them. So there we go, 47 studs. It finds them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so you guys can find this script, I am going to save to Roblox, AI behaviors, and I'm going to say version one. I think there is a little versioning thing in here. Um, creator, me, genre, allow copying allow comments that way you can add stuff say hey your your thing doesn't work let's see submit and there is this is a uh, a link to the description so we'll go here or link to the to the script and then you can get it right you can just go ahead and get that so i'm going to save this off and i'll put it in the description also all right so there you got your very first um behavior for for your agent